hey you guys welcome back to the channel and i want to talk about the whole miss marvel captain marvel thing because it's a problem it's a real issue that we need to kind of like talk about because marvel just wants to force carol and kamala khan down our throats and i don't understand for the life of me why that is especially when they have all of these other characters that people love that are fan favorites that they choose not to use i just don't understand that i'm sorry i don't see anything appealing about carol or kamala and i've read their books carol was way better as miss marvel than she ever has been as captain marvel and kamala khan mm, her first volume was decent but after that that should have been it for the character to be honest she didn't even earn the title miss marvel you know there is no connection for that and i'm sorry what girl you know want to be in big and hands and feet Ooh, look at me i'm gonna knock off mr fantastic yes because that's every girl's dream to be a stretchy person yeah that's that's what girls look up to be like what <laughs> there was no connection to captain marvel i mean carol danvers besides oh i'm a fan okay and usually with these kind of characters at least they have some kind of connection to them but this one wasn't even close to it there was literally no build up for her like let's go back to captain marvel the first captain marvel marvel not that female crap that the mcu did which was highly disrespectful and stuff like that but you know the whole entire captain marvel franchise in the mcu is a disrespect but um you know marvell the first captain marvel you know he had a comic book issue and they introduced carol danvers and you know they slowly built this character up in in the comic book line until you know she was able to get her powers or something like that which by the way carol danvers isn't a half creed no matter what the hell they try to retcon in the life of captain marvel we're not even going to even talk about that 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 stuff doesn't even make any sense. She doesn't have a no blue swole sister. That's some crap that Marvel's trying. They're trying everything they can to make you like her. Nobody likes that kind of stuff. But basically, Carol was a regular human girl. But, you know, she also was love interest to Marvel. You know, a battle happened um, where where they was at at the, well, I believe it was like a Earth base, um, space station. Not like in in space and stuff like that it's been a long time since i read the original captain marvel run and stuff like that um but basically she got kidnapped and the machine that she was in you know siphoned some of captain marvel's powers out and kind of you know mixed with her dna to give her you know powers of captain marvel where she had become miss marvel and at the time when she did become miss marvel she wouldn't even realize that she was miss marvel until you know a couple of issues later or whatever but what i'm saying is the reason why that worked is because she was built up in the store she was a character first before they just threw her in as a hero and that's the problem with a lot of these new generation characters that they're bringing out they're just tossed into the book and given their own solo title and sometimes even taken over the line from the character that they're looking up to which makes no sense like riri williams in the invincible iron man run why that character wasn't even hardly introduced she was introduced in the back pages of iron man but that's not enough she didn't even interact with tony stark before he died and then all of a sudden she's headlining invincible iron man <laughs> what then carol danvers get elevated to captain marvel and then what two years two years later i believe or three years later kamala khan get the miss marvel line what there was no built up and then people were like oh well she was no just because the characters show up in a comic book and, and they don't interact with that character really that much if there's no character built that wouldn't make any sense just like for instance if they started out miles morales in his own solo run without the context of the death of spider-man or whatever and stuff like that people will have an issue with it because they'll be like wait hold on why is he you know headlining the book when he wasn't even introduced at least they introduced him in the ultimate line and they worked that character in and stuff like that until he got his powers you know what i'm saying you gotta you gotta think about developing these characters just to broaden much and that's the problem with 
Captain Marvel and Miss Marvel of current year. You have people that's been saying for a long time, give the Captain Marvel title back to Monica Rambeau, who was the first female and the first black person to be Captain Marvel. And yet you take that away and give it to a blonde headed, blue eyed white woman. But yet you're talking about diversity. You see how that doesn't make any sense. You see how that doesn't even make any sense at all. Yes, Monica Rambeau didn't have anything to do with Captain Marvel, but at least when people called her that and stuff like that, they developed that character. She was introduced in the Spider-Man run. They built that character up. Then she went to the Avengers before she got her own, you know, solo title run. And it was really good. I actually enjoyed the Monica Rambeau one and stuff like that, even though I lost some of the issues over time and stuff like that. But, you know, eventually I'm going get, to get them back and stuff like that. But, you know... You built those characters up back in the day. They introduced these characters. They built them up. And yes, yeah, sometimes some of them, if they're brand new characters, yeah, they would get them. But, you know, they want to test the waters and see. But these new generation characters are really just here for, like, agenda quotas and stuff like that. Like, for Kamala Khan. We didn't, really didn't know why she looked up to Carol until her comic book run. But my thing is, anybody can look up to anybody in the Marvel Universe. But why her out of all the people? Why Carol? Why would a, this little Muslim girl look up to this, you know, this white woman that, eh, okay, she's decent. Now, you know, it, it'd be different if she was like a supporting character in Captain Marvel's line or something like that. So then when you do bring her in as Miss Marvel, it's because she was in the story she got built up or something like that something happened where she got powers or something like that but because she also knows carol if you go back to the old miss marvel runs she had side characters she had characters that kept her grounded she had villains she had her own struggles and stuff like that but nowadays captain marvel carol is just like she goes and do whatever she wants and everybody's just yay carol yay carol or whatever and stuff like that even though she done committed genocide, she done killed people, you know, she done accused, falsely arrested people or whatever, and yet she's rewarded. And then Marvel keeps trying to give her powers and keep trying to say how powerful she is or whatever. The same thing with Kamala Khan. She's the bestest character ever. She's very popular. And I'm just confused how their runs don't stay long. They have to keep rebooting. And the only reason why they keep having to reboot Captain Marvel is because if they don't make a Captain Marvel book within a certain time period, it goes back to DC. And then DC will be able to give back Captain Marvel back to the original Captain Marvel Shazam, a.k.a. Billy Batson. Which, let's be honest, everybody will love that. Everybody will love that because I will love that. Because right now, the Captain Marvel that they have is crap. And yet, they're still trying to force it. I'm sorry. The Carol of today is nothing like the carol of old it's time for y'all to get back to um giant thighs big boob sexy carol danvers that actually had an alcohol problem she was human she um wanted to you know prove herself or whatever but she was so grounded and she wasn't all about herself she had family she had friends that she can care about besides just spider woman you know what i'm saying you, you ain't taking no chances with these characters. You especially Kamala Khan. You're definitely not taking because you don't want to offend somebody. I'm sorry if the world can think it's okay to make fun of Christianity. The world needs to be okay with offending some Muslim people. I'm sorry to say that. You know you gotta. You're gonna have to either do something with the character, but you can't keep her standstill. She has to grow. She has to change. You have to do something like amazing with her and you're not really doing anything amazing with her. You're popping her up in books. You're making her like this amazing character when she's really not all she can do is really stretch. I'm sorry. I don't see anything appealing about that character. Just like I don't see anything about a stuck up woman thinking that she's better than everybody else, which is Carol. Like what is going on? You know, it's time for these characters to start acting heroic and it's time for you guys to take some chances with them, make some good villains, make some good side characters. You got to do something better than that. But right now, 
these characters aren't really doing much because they're not that interesting until you're willing to take a risk like what happened with Carol where Rogue took her powers, she was struggling for a little bit, she had got um, raped by her by a man and then accidentally gave birth to her and stuff like that she had a whole journey with the x-man becoming binary um finally you know making peace with rogue becoming miss marvel all over again you know what i'm saying you gotta do you gotta do something you gotta shake her up the same thing with kamala khan you gotta shake her up you know if anything she should have been connected to the creed or um you know the scrolls besides the inhuman the inhuman stuff didn't help her at all you know because even though she was inhuman you had all these inhuman books and you canceled them again you didn't cancel miss marvel i'm sorry i don't understand why you didn't then you're trying to introduce her into the mcu but why how could she be a fan of carol danvers when carol danvers haven't even been on earth that much you get what i'm saying because you're going to try to keep that into that story, aren't you? Because why would she be calling herself Miss Marvel then with symbols of Carol in it or whatever, stuff like that? Like, are you going to have her fangirling now or are you going to change it completely where she wasn't a fan? So you're going to get away from the origins that you gave her in the comic books? You get what I'm saying? So then you're going to change up the people who actually like the character and because they're going to probably be like, wait, hold on. I thought she was a fan of Carol's. Why does she not talk about Carol or anything? You get what I'm saying? You see how you put these characters in or entwined and neither one of them isn't helping each other. She doesn't even show up in the Captain Marvel books, hardly. And Captain Marvel don't even show up in her books. You know what I'm saying? And then when they do, they compliment each other on how the bestest they are at everything. No. That's not how real women work. That's not how the real world works. Especially when it comes to a teenage girl that just you know, happens to get her powers all of a sudden, you know what I mean, you gotta do something better with this character, you know, because she's really not doing much, these characters just are bad examples of characters, and I just don't get why Marvel's trying to shove it down people's throat, and trying to almost force you to like this character, I don't like this character, I don't like neither one of them at this time, because their writing is horrible, it's trash. It is literally trash. You can't name that one thing that currently happened to Carol and Miss Marvel that wasn't part of events. That wasn't part of events. I'm talking about like iconic storylines that happened to them within the pages of their books that wasn't part of a major event. You get what I'm saying? Because you can't. You literally can't. And then people was like, oh, well, they may move this shipment or all, all, please, please, please. We know how Marvel and Disney fixed, the, fixed their prices and stuff like that. Hell, they said Captain Marvel was a billion dollar franchise, yet the movie theater said they were sold out, yet people were showing screenshots of them in the movie theater and hardly nobody was there. So I'm confused, you know what I'm saying? So we're shilling for these two characters that aren't great. And they could be great. They have the potential, especially Carol. But to be honest, I really think Kamala Khan needs to get, get away from the Miss Marvel um, logo. You give her another darn name or whatever. Um, Carol needs to go back to Miss Marvel. It's time for her to go back to her roots of who she is as a character. Captain Marvel definitely needs to go back to being Monica Rambeau. You know, since you're not going to bring back the original um, Captain Marvel and his kids you know they they're fine by themselves without having the title of of captain marvel but give it to monica rambeau you know people want monica rambeau to have it they really feel like monica rambeau should have had it and especially how marvel like disrespected monica rambeau with the captain marvel title where you had all of these characters popping up taking the name from her and every time she had a new superhero name here comes somebody else taking another name and it was captain marvel's children that was doing it the most like, I just don't get it. I just don't get it. But yeah, that was my little thoughts about Captain Marvel and Miss Marvel. So yeah, um, tell me what you guys think. Um, leave a comment, so like, subscribe, all that fun stuff, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.